once again, everybody, and welcome to another edition of AIW's The Card is Going to Change. We've got another fun episode for you this week, but before we get into that, a word of our sponsors, who of course bring this show to you for free every single week. Thanks to SmartMark Video. Check them out, smartmarkvideo.com. You can download all of our AIW shows there and purchase us on DVD. We also want to thank Angelo's Pizza, who delivers their award-winning Angelo's Pizza to all of the live events of AIW. And of course, you can go to Angelo's Pizza on Madison Avenue in Lakewood, Ohio. Plenty of other delicious dishes there as well. Just like this pepperoni and sausage pizza I'm eating. I got some breaded ravioli over here. It's all very good. Vegans loves everything breaded, except for bread. Well, we learned last week he likes breaded last mushrooms. Last week he now likes, yeah, he likes the breaded well, I mushrooms. I said on the Buddy Landell episode, I, uh, it's an acquired taste. I acquired. Oh, there you go. And then, of course, we also want to thank Jack Prince, who helps us with all of our printing and signage needs. They can do the same for you, and they do graphic design. They have apparel, plenty of options. Make sure you check them out at jackprince.com. J-A-K-Prince.com. My name is Steve Guy. I'm the moderator of sorts for this wonderful roller coaster of a ride that we bring to you every week. And the other voices you heard are, of course, owners number one and owner number two of AIW, John Thorne and Chandler Biggins. On this week's episode, we, uh, well, we've decided to peel back the curtain a little bit and, and let you guys have some fun with the emails that get sent to the AIW account or on Facebook Messenger, uh, people wanting to get booked, people thinking that they can be a part of the creative team, a la Alex Keller, and uh, a variety of other things. Oh, so many emails come in. Uh, I would probably say, on average, we get probably about 25 emails a week, and I would say a good portion of them are laughable. Uh, and then we talked about emails before, especially like in our Double Dare episode, because we got so many shitty emails from tag teams, uh, so many shitty emails from singles guys that wanted to form tag teams to be in Double Dare. Uh, so I found, I went back in our archives and just did some basic searches and found some good ones. Uh, this is going to be a topic that we can bring up in the future because there's some really good ones. Biggins was learning how to use keywords in, in his searches. Tags, yeah. What is stuff tagged in keywords? Wow, look at you. Look at it. He's just, you know, he's a, he's a regular SEO specialist at this point. I don't even know what that is. SEP. Search engine optimization. Oh, there you go. That, that could be that could be a thing. Uh, I get AIW on the top of the Google uh, search. Yeah, put, there you put go. it on your resume. I will. SEO specialist. So let's start off with our first one here. It's from a guy named Kevin. Kevin. Big Kev. Hello, Kevin. He goes, you've never answered my question if AIW would be interested in a small creative and financial investment. I admit I have no experience in wrestling other than being a longtime fan, but I have a good amount of business, promotion, marketing, and creative experience. I see you've done six GNOs. Girls Night Outs events, so that tells you, uh, you know, this is a little old, but seem to be a, my, primarily a men's promotion. I would only care to invest in the female events. How? I don't know, but I have plenty of ideas. I bought GNO4 on DVD. So far, I'm not enjoying the quality of wrestling you put on. Therefore, there will be no future orders from me, and I'm pulling my investment. And that man went on to start Wrestlelicious. <laughs> I don't know. That uh, very, very sad that we never got Big Kev's well, uh, investment. Well, goes to show you've got to put your efforts into booking for every single one for these future investors. Gino 4, that was a hell of a show, so I don't know what he's talking uh, about. Apparently wasn't that good. Biggins really was learning how to use that, that search optimization going all the way back to an email around Gino 6 time. What's the date on that? 2012. Look at that. Wow. That was supposed to be when the world ended. It would have cost Kev a lot of money when the world ended. The world uh, was ending? Yeah, remember 12, 12, 12? Uh, barely. We ran a show called The End of the World. I got an email here from a man named Jeff the Rebel. Oh. That's offensive. Yeah. Here we go. Dear Mr. AIW Matchmaker. Whoa. Wow. Who is Who has that title, by the way? I don't know. Wadsworth. My name and wrestling name is Jeff the Rebel. Now that's his guy. His parents' name. Yeah, that's that? his God-given name too. That's, that's his government name, Jeff, Jeff the, Rebel. the Rebel. All right, all right, Jeff Middle the Rebel. Middle name the last name Rebel. Rebel. It great. says right here, my name and wrestling name. Wow. 
is Jeff the Rebel. And I've been wrestling for a year. For a year or years? For a year. I don't know. <laughs> I'm right. confused now. And I was trained by Johnny Swinger and I wounding, hoping that get a opportunity wrestle for AIW and looking for opportunity be great if you give me opportunity wrestle for AIW and I'll be grateful if I get this opportunity Biggins definitely searched opportunity when he found this email. Yeah. I, <laughs> yeah, I feel like right. you just didn't give that email justice. You need to throw... I mean, he's the rebel. We, we need like a southern accent on there because clearly he does not know English. I want to know why he's wounding. Yeah. And, and, and hoping. In a, hasn't even been in a match yet, but he's wounded. I wasn't even aware Johnny Swinger had a school. I mean, there's a lot that goes on in the South, but wounding, hope this is... I mean, I'm going to put this on my refrigerator. <laughs> Jeff the Rebel, if anyone's out there familiar with Jeff the Rebel, tell him to email me again because I think you think he's an opportunity in his future. I think I got an opportunity for him. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly not as a matchmaker with that uh, bad lingo. S- 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 and the, oppor- the opportunity, I W matchmaker. The, the opportunity certainly ain't gonna be a fucking spelling bee. I'll tell you that. <laughs> well, it could be. That'd be fun. Uh, so some of these emails and the messaging, of course, sometimes the enjoyment is the banter between what I can only imagine typically is Chandler Biggins or lack thereof and just leading people. We on. like to leave it a mystery. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's Chandler Biggins. So for instance, Oh, you've replied to some of these. Here's a conversation, uh, very brief. So I'll have to ask you a question at the end here. He says, I'm just gonna say his name is Luther. I mean, where is the venue? Because I really want to be a wrestler, and I wish to try out. Do you guys have open tryouts? The response, we do not, but all the information can be found on AIWrestling.com. That's good for you guys to know out there, too. Luther responds, thank you. Sent an email. Did you get it? No response to Luther. We didn't get it. Three days later, he writes again, sent an email to booking. Did they get it? Did you- uh, Never got it. Never got Luther's email. I oh. think... I think you fucked up in your search engine fucking yeah. search. I bet you Luther sent an email. Yeah. I, I couldn't find Luther's email. Do you just Now, do you just ignore these people typically? Like, did you search Luther after you get these things and you're like, oh, he's just no good, so I'm not going to respond? Or is there really sometimes, no email? Sometimes it's just I see the message and then I'm busy or something, or sometimes I just don't want to respond. I think we have about a... I think our uh, Facebook's a 66% response rate. Oh, well, Luther could be huge right now, and you missed that opportunity. Could have been Luther Reigns. I didn't even know. It could be. Fuck, dude. We fucked up on Luther Reigns. <laughs> Horseshoe was looking for the venue? So I, now you've missed Luther Reigns and Jeff the Rebel. I watched The Girl Next Door the other night, man. Luther Reigns is sweet in that movie. He's the best. It's a great flick. Okay, I got a good one here. All right. I'm fucking... You know what's coming to light in this? Biggins didn't respond to these emails fucking in an adequate people, time. And another, I, here's another guy here, an investor. 66% is... It's that's like probably why we're always having uh, financial problems. We never respond to these investors. Well, you yeah, never obviously. respond to the investment opportunities. No, and this is a big one. We should be shark tanking these motherfuckers. Absolute intense wrestling. Please have Taylor Hendricks give me a call. My name is Mr. Sibler. Tell her we could become friends and I could give her the following millions billions and trillions of dollars i have texas oil city development properties all for taylor hendrix my cell phone number is beep what is taylor's (laughs) cell number i can prove to you and her that all this money will be taylor hendrix and I could show Taylor Hendricks when she meets me in person in Miami, Florida. I could give her deeds, contracts, proof I own and control all these Texas businesses. Wow, this Tex- is like, Texas oil tax. It's like the email I got from my cousin who's a Nigerian prince that just died. I also have city development properties all for Taylor Hendricks. I also have proof from a Swiss banker. His name is Mr. Corner. From a UBS bank in Switzerland. He misspelled it horribly. Oh, I think that's how they spell it with the bank. I don't know. Continue. That his bank is willing to give me $50 million in an offshore account in my name. 
I will then put $50 million in Taylor Hendrick's name when she agrees to become friends and meets me in Miami, Florida. Do you have any video of Taylor Hendricks being knocked out by a fat female <laughs> wrestler? Do you have any video footage of Taylor Hendricks with blood all over her face? I would like to watch this. Also, this is making me feel really good about sending her to Miami now. Yeah. They just want to, he just wants to be friends. Also, do you have Taylor Hendricks ever wrestling male wrestlers? Also, can I have access to watch all of Amber Van Buren's videos? Who the fuck is that? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I've, I've never heard of this girl. She's one of the Van Buren's of the president. The Van Buren boys. Especially the one where Amber is knocked out cold by Vanessa Craven, which I think he means Vanessa Craven. Well, but He's got a real fetish. Ooh, shout out to Vanessa Craven. I love her. He really likes his women knocked out. <laughs> yeah. Also, do you have any video footage of a female wrestler named Miss Thatcher? I don't know who that is. Margaret Thatcher? I don't know. From the UK? Is that, does it continue? No, that's it. Wow. And I just never responded. We missed out on millions, billions, not and trillions. That's just you, Taylor Hendricks. Specifically Taylor Hendricks. I don't know if we missed out. Specifically her. Yeah, Taylor doesn't even need to wrestle anymore. She could be retired. Just go to Miami, Florida, be friends. Just be a friend. He doesn't even specify for how long that friendship needs to last. Probably she could just Facebook him. She, If she goes to Miami, Florida, he'll give her the deeds and the proof. It's amazing. He, I mean, the Swiss Bank is clearly a big Taylor Hendricks fan too. Yeah, they million, just give out fifty, 50 million dollars in an offshore account. Can, can we just get like five million to book her at a GNO? Yeah. See, I don't know if we would have gotten any of that money. I think yeah, it was. Where is our cut? I Why are we? You know, there's no cut. We're like the middlemen for this guy and Taylor Hendricks. I don't think I don't think it's called middleman. I think it's called human trafficking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he uh, that email was meant for a different kind we of Mr. Been, we, AIW. We, I think he thought I, I think he thought we dealt in a different business. <laughs> like he was just gonna buy her. I I, I uh, mean apparently. I think this I think this was like like a taken situation. Okay, and yeah, why I think my was other a good no response that one. Out of all the questions that I was, have, that was, me, that was a good no response. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Out of all the questions I have from that email. If he has so much business in Texas, why is he meeting her in Miami, Florida? Well, it's, uh, it's a hot spot. Maybe that's where he's developing his new retail spaces. Maybe new taken? No. Biggins, I want you to go back, and I want you to find this message, and I want you to respond to him. No, I do not have her cell phone number, but I have the following DVDs for sale. Yeah. It's, okay. <laughs> come on. you got you gotta, The guy's offering up trillions. We can at least get 15 Millions, bucks. Millions, billions, and trillions all together. Tell him you will sell him the entire AIW DVD collection. For like three million. Tell them we're just sitting on like a bunch of Geno Blu rays we're trying to get rid of. We should just say that they have a lot of Miss Thatcher, of uh, Vanessa Craven. East, Easter eggs with Van Buren. Yeah. <laughs> Van East, Buren girl. Easter eggs with Taylor Hendricks, just blood poured all over her. Yeah, we need bloody Taylor Hendricks footage and her wrestling men and her wrestling fat women. Totally normal. Absolutely. Right? Always unconscious. Big fan of un- uh, women yeah. being unconscious, that guy. Who out there? Loves watching fat women make other women bleed. That's is a totally normal thing. Absolutely, I don't. I don't. I never went to that website. Sounds like it's, I bet you Virtual Pros is a frequent flyer on that website. At least CCW fans. J Wealth. This is not going to be a great follow up because I don't know how we beat that. We should have saved that one for later. I mean, yeah. I, I hope. I hope you really saved a good one for later because, uh, you know, I that I, takes the cake right now. Well, here's one, uh, again, I alluded to Mr. Biggins having fun with people as they email. Uh, this emailer says, how many matches you need to see before you consider booking me? Two question marks. So he's very curious. To which Chandler Biggins responds to him, one hardcore, one comedy, two tags, five intergender, and one three-way. What? I mean, what was that? <laughs> Are, now, does can the three way uh, double? Now, can like those double up at all? If, if the that was actually way- an answer from Cole Cabana. We we asked his advice on what to tell this guy, and that was completely written by Cole Cabana. Oh, what do you got there for us, John Thorne? Anything good? I mean, I I don't have any oil tycoons or anything like that. Um, I have another investor. Oh, excellent! Oh, those are always good. His name is Swagged Up. Swagged Up. Swagged Up. Swagged Up. Oh, okay. 
You know, like the top talking the rap music. Sure. Swag. You, you, were, uh, you were a big fan. Yeah, you were a yeah. uh, no, no limit soldier. soldier. <laughs> Still am, man. Shout out to fucking. Sh- shout out to Swole. Swagged up says, "Would you be interested in a partnership?" AIW says, "Of what sort?" I can invest some money for name talent, and I could film backstage promos for a DVD. I don't know why, Biggins. This had to been you. you. Say, we aren't looking for investors at this time. <laughs> you, we, it's clearly when Biggins was rolling in the money, or Biggins saw the oil tycoon. Yeah, I was. I was trying to say it, sell this, Taylor yeah, Hendricks. This message followed that, and Biggins thought, "No, we're good." We're I'm telling you, we gotta, money. we gotta get all these investors together in a room, and we gotta fuck shark a, tank them. We gotta shark tank them. <laughs> I want to pitch. I, I want them to pitch us on why that they should give us their money. I, I like it. What would they do with the last? The last, the last guy we didn't fucking accept his money. He bought Turner's Hall. Yeah. That was a good investment. Steve Guy, you're going to have to separate us again like the time we fought about Teddy Hart's ankle. This guy, <laughs> all he wanted, he wanted to give us money to film backstage DVD promos. I'm sure they were going to be at people's crotches. <laughs> that is, wow, a tough allegation. Yeah, you don't even know that guy. He's swagged up. I bet you he sees crotches all the time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no for, you. For free. Yeah. All right. What do you, what do you, what do you, what do you get? What, what do you get? Yeah. Well, we talked about this, but we didn't have proof uh, in the Double Dare episode. Uh, when we were recruiting for Double Dare, a guy wrote, I wondered if you had any, this guy's name is Frederick. He goes, yes, I was wondering if you have room for bookings. And we said, for what? He goes, I want to be involved in your Double Dare tag tournament. And we replied, please send footage. And he goes, I'm so sorry, sir. I do not have footage of a tag team because me and my partner have only faced each other, never teamed. That would not make him a partner. Well, That would not be a tag team. What I would love one day is if you said, please send footage, and somebody says, I am 6'3", and that's a, that's a height joke, footage. Sorry. <laughs> I didn't get it. <laughs> no wonder why your stand-up comedy career is not taking off. Yeah, no wonder you got it. you're a host of a podcast. <laughs> do you live in this apartment? We all do. We've said that many times, remember? We moved in. All oh. right, I got one here. This one's from Bull. From Bull? Bull. From Night Court? Yeah, I love that show. That's a good show. I agree with you on that. Yeah. It says here he works at Pro Wrestling. Just that's okay. the company. All right. This is a good yeah. start so, so far. So he works for the whole industry. Good for him. Bull says, I'm sure you guys get a bunch of emails, so I won't waste, t- waste your time. Well, thank you, Bull. Yeah. I work out of Dallas as a 300-pound manimal. Doing some good things. So, so is Wait. he not three hundred pounds? That he just works towards the three hundred pounds? Hey, or? I can I I can only provide as much information as I'm given. Or is if he's like three twenty six? Does he go? Eh, tonight I'm only working at three hundred. And what does being a manimal entail? Well, I'll tell you what it entails. It entails doing some good things on the West Coast, and I'm looking to start doing some things on the East Coast. I am. By the way, AW is not really located near any coast. No, nope. and neither is Texas. Well, it's the North Coast, as they call Cleveland. You come highly recommended from Willie Mack, and I look forward to hearing from you. Well, thanks for the recommendation, Willie Mack. Oh yeah, that's very nice. That's his finisher has to be the mandible claw, right? Right I or wrong? No, the man, the mandible claw. But he is the man a mole. But he's the man. The man a mole claw. Maybe he just you know tweaked it a little bit. Now we're, you know, now we're telling stories here. Now we're making movies. Manimal, manimal bull. Isn't there already like a uh, half man, half bull creature? Man, manatar. Ma- yeah, mantar. Right? Yeah, minotaur. Minotaur. I don't know. Uh, here's one from Frankie. Frankie uh, Flynn. Th- not Frankie Flynn. Oh. But this goes back to this is how you don't uh, get booked. Probably pay attention to when you send messages. Hey man, how often do you run? AIW replies monthly. I'm interested in coming up. Also have a female. No thanks. We are all full, says AIW. No pro, which I can only assume means no problem. Uh, then, a short time after, Frankie once again writes AIW, Hey, how often y'all run? Well, Frankie. Yeah, I think we answered that. I think we answered Frankie. that. That's why I don't reply to people like that's that. Why, that's why you don't get booked. There and is. I want to know more about this female. Is she coming on her own volition? Well, you said you didn't need her. Well, Big I don't back. know. Back to the big words. Big words, big. Yeah. Maybe maybe it was a Taylor Hendricks uh, Miami, Florida situation. Maybe been. 
Maybe she was coming in the trunk. You may have been able to save that woman's life. Now we'll never know. That was said- that, that message from that oil tycoon was a Facebook message. So I think if anybody out there is like a private investigator or anything like that, I want to provide you with this guy's name and I want to get to the bottom of this guy's. Let's talk about his L- sounds dangerous. Lee Lee. Yeah, let's not give out his tell real us, name. Yeah, tell us yeah. what he said. Anybody out there, private investigator? Shoot us an email. We want you to do a little investigation on this oil tycoon that wants to see Taylor Hendricks bleed for trillions of dollars. And we we want to free the women's wrestlers that he probably has captive. All right, I got one. Hello, sir, dash ma'am. Very it's uncertain. Un- uncertain, but polite. I like it. But what if it's a female? Sir slash ma'am. No, what if it was a female that ran AIW? Right. He said ma'am. That's why, yeah. That's, that's why he said ma'am. It's very polite. Well, I thought he said ma'am. Sorry. No. Hello, sir slash ma'am. My name is Tim, and I've been working for almost two years now. I am looking for more work and would like to work for you. I am trained by Jerry. J- the Jerry? The Jerry? Unspecific. Superstar? And have two gimmicks to work with. Oh, here we go. Oh. Number one, Fat Tony. Oh, God. That's very descriptive. <laughs> oh, he's got a description. Oh, here we go. Oh. Fat Tony. A greaser who uses the fat look as his lifestyle. I have a tag partner for the gimmick, Rick Allen. Wait, what? wait, wait. Playboy Rick Allen from yeah. that YouTube video? I mean, it's unspecific, but I can oh, only man. assume. I'm really pissed I didn't book this guy now. Oh, no, that's his real name. Oh, fuck. Oh. Work name, Ricky Cardia. Okay, if your name is Rick Allen, that's a hell of a wrestling name. Just roll with it. Gimmick number two, famine. Uh oh, a jungle monster here in America trying to make things right. What? I will send footage to you here in in a second of both gimmicks. Did we get video? Did we? Yeah, I'm interested in famine. I don't know. Pull, pull up your SEO software. What was he making right? America. America. He's coming. He's a jungle monster. I'm gonna make things right. I think that was the uh, plot of Predator 2. How do you go from Fat Tony to Famine? Those are two totally and opposite what is things. Fat look. Yeah, Fat Greaser. So he's like, I just imagine him being like Fat John Travolta from Greece. And Fat is in all caps when he wrote that. That was it. F A T or P H A T? F A T. Oh, okay. <laughs> Biggins, I think you got to work on work on your uh, your SEO searches. This is a printed out email that just says, "Hey, brother." Who's currently booking AIW? That's it. Yeah. <laughs> no response. Write, yeah. him, write him back, Mr. AIW Matchmaker. You got to know. You got to listen to the podcast. Mr. AIW Matchmaker. That was sent is, three uh, years ago. Should have listened to the podcast. Oh. There was no podcast then. Yeah. They should have just known. All Frankie wanted to know was who was booking AIW yeah, at the time. Yeah, should have known. It probably, probably is another star somewhere. I got one. It's from a guy named Carlos. Oh, this is good. And he goes, hello, promoter. No response. He goes, hello, promoter again. No response. Wait, did he say hello, promoter, again? Yes. Oh, that's great. Oh, so it's obviously one of the headhunters. Yeah. yeah. Then he goes, hi, promoter, how are you? But it's R, like, and you, the letters. Oh, okay. And I said, hello, is it me you're looking for? <laughs> Regular Eddie Old Kingston on the... Uh... And he said, I'm Carlos, pro wrestler, looking for Booker. Need opportunity. Do you have wrestling show? My videos, photo, resume. I have to view my video. Do you like it? But he never sent a video. Well, that's the problem. We could not book you properly as Headhunter 3. Sorry, Carlos. Hello. Is it me you're looking for? Um, that's, I don't know if that was quite in the melody. That was good. That's good, Biggins. Uh, I have one. Now, this is great because... Uh, well, this guy doesn't seem to think he needs to know how to wrestle to be a wrestler. Sounds like everybody that's ever emailed about the school. Yeah. Good afternoon. I am interested in working with AIW. I am not, I repeat, all caps, not a trained professional wrestler by any means. What I do have is a no BS attitude with a big mouth that will put into words what others are merely thinking and too afraid to say. So far, he sounds like Chandler Biggins. All caps here. We all know how he got into the industry. Yeah. All caps. I love professional wrestling and have always had a passion for the great talkers, 
A fantastic promo is what makes people a believer. The promo is what puts butts in seats. All the charisma in the world doesn't mean a thing if you can't vocally sell your story. Now, I do believe that uh, charisma is involved in a promo, is it not? Uh, for sure. Usually you have charisma when you're giving a promo. Uh, I am 5'11", 210 pounds, live local in the Cleveland area. Thanks for taking the time to read this. Little do you know, we read it on the podcast. If you decide to take a pass on this, dot, 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 well, dot, 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 your loss, not mine. That was from BG. That could have been BG James, and we never responded. He's uh, running fucking SmackDown now. Yeah, what the fuck? Unbelievable. All right. This will be my last one. Is that it? Is that it? The money The money one? This is my last. I hope it is. I didn't. I didn't sort through any of this material you gave me. This is your. This is your episode. You're. You're the showrunner on this one. You're the showrunner on this one. This is. This is your baby. This episode. So if it gets, well, the pod mass is gone. So if it gets a bad review, no one will know. Yeah, nobody's reviewing our shows now. If you'd like to review our podcast, we were very fucking obsessive compulsive about that. So we'll read it. Please give us five stars. If you give us a thousand uh, reviews, we might do a bonus episode. Yeah, give us give us five star reviews on iTunes. And before I read my final email, listen to this message from Steve Guy. All right, well, thanks, John. And uh, obviously, some of these people they could be on something. There's some crazy ideas throwing being thrown out here, and uh, maybe some substance abuse. I don't, you know, some el- illicit substances. There, it could be. Some of these ideas are wild. Clearly, they have problems typing. And, you know, this could be a big problem for a lot of people, and they're them, themselves, or their families. It could be. Wrestling could be their way out. But It could be wrestling with addiction. They, That's a great point. And if you or someone you know are wrestling with addiction, specifically to heroin, then we want you to reach out to our new sponsor, Ebb Tide Treatment Center. That's E-B-B, Tide, T-I-D-E, Treatment Center. They're located in Florida. And their mission is to bridge the gap between treatment and recovery. They wish to empower each individual they encounter with the support, hope, and tools required for long-term sobriety, priding themselves on providing the best possible treatment experience for you and your loved ones based on their unique needs. They're committed to breaking the stigma that plagues those suffering with addiction and their families by educating and bringing awareness to the community. The Ebb Tide Treatment Center has individual and group therapy, multiple recovery pathways support, evidence-based clinical support. They got integrated aftercare social reintegration programs, which are great for anybody who is overcoming something and obviously then wants to do better with their lives after that fact. It is gender specific, so it is for males. They will provide you with personalized treatment planning. They also have programs addressing their whole life health. Call them at 844-430-4357 or visit ebtidetc.com. First person you can help is yourself. That's right. So we like to be funny games, but there are some serious things out there. And AI, we're just doing our part to help out everybody else. Trying to help the world be a better place. You know it. We want you to stick around and come to more of our shows and listen to our podcast and have the fun that we're having reading these ridiculous emails. That's now, what we're doing today. If you're if you're addicted to something or having issues, you're going down a bad street. Well, that's just ironic because the T-shirt of the week from Thrift Store Jobber is a Bad Street USA T-shirt. Now, this is an original shirt from the mid-'80s. It is $75. This is a, it looks amazing. It's an XL, but it fits like a medium. And you could look like Michael Hayes yourself. Doot, doot, doot. Thrift Store Jobber dot bigcartel.com. Follow him on Instagram and eBay, Thrift Store Jobber. And this man is the only man that makes the Chandler Biggins flea market feel jealous. Doot, doot, doot. So uh, we're, we're wrapping up. Uh, we got some good emails here to finish this sucker off. I will... Uh... Back to your final one there, John Thorne. I will go to, to the word from our sponsors. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for our new sponsors we have. Uh, making things, making the world a better place. That's T-shirts, right. recovery, 
two things you need. Maybe you get out of recovery, you need a t-shirt. All right, back to the emails. Let's bring uh, let's bring the mood back up a little bit. <laughs> this one is from Definition of Definition, Double D. Definition of Definition? Hello, my name is David. I work under the name Double D. My gimmick is the Captain of the Force. Well, we already got a fucking Captain of the Ship. Doesn't yeah. this guy do his research? Captain of the... Well... This is fucking Star Wars nerd shit, bro. Yeah. Basically, mixing Star Trek and Star Wars references for comedy's sake. I, I'm not interested in either. No. While using the Force to do good and all that. And all that? The, the 90s television show? <laughs> I, don't, I don't think that's what he meant. I'm six foot, 170 pounds... I've been working for seven years. I can work heel or face. However, I've been a face my entire career. Boy, how does he know he could be heel then? He's just that confident that with the force. I was wondering if you may be looking for any new talent. If so, would you be interested in possibly booking me for a show in the future? I'm a good listener, fast learner. I enjoy working here. I've had a lot of fun. Enjoy working here in AIW? He's never been here. Hey man, it's what we got. He just he just knows the force Jedi mind trick. He knows he could work here. I don't know anything about that shit. I just know that band that did the Neptown Dragon song. Shout out to Drake Wirtz. Well, this uh, this next one is going to. I don't, it should have been involved in the Double Dare one, but it was too soon because it came from 2012. Shout out again to Chandler Biggins SEO uh, expertise. This comes from a tag team, and I really think you missed the boat on this as I looked over this email, Biggins. You should have responded. We were wondering if your promotion is looking for new tag teams. We are the tag team Beard Life. That's B-E-E-R apostrophe D. We've been tagging for around a year and a half. So do they like beer to drink or beard like on their face? No, beard to drink. So it's it's beer like you drink apostrophe D. Like like a verb? Like like Yeah. Yeah. Beard. I, I've been beering all night. Beard, 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 beard me. Beard me. I think that's called drunk. Yeah, that's a little. That's a little stretch on that one. Yeah, beard me. Yeah. Hey, he beard me. Yeah. I don't. I don't get it. I don't either. Well, I'm not the best with my grammar, but I, I just don't. It fucking goes get on. That. Already a failure. This email. We've been tagging for around a year and a half, and we were trained at Fight the World Wrestling. This is our home promotion, and we were voted by fans as FTW's Breakout Wrestlers of 2011. That's good for them. Then it tells people they've worked for. Here we go. Description of what their gimmick is. Oh, this is the good, this is the good part, I guess. Our gimmick is two fat, drunken Irish brothers who love nothing more than a good fight and fighting the good fight. We explain our gimmick as a Disney movie. Funny stuff for the kids <laughs> and jokes only the adults will get. Oh, wait, okay. <laughs> so, wait, wait. They work for Fight the World Wrestling. Yep. And they're fighters, and, but they're like a Disney movie. Yep. I don't understand this at all. Well, it's... It's funny stuff for the kids and jokes only the adults will get. Why are they telling jokes? Aren't they wrestlers? They're fighting the world? Well, the email goes on. You can learn more. If you contact their home promotion, they will verify that we become a draw for them. Over now, they put draw in quotations. So I'm guessing, I don't know what that means. If you put draw in quotations, it means are you're you drawing really, asses into the seats. Yeah, like, are you not really a draw, though? Like, why are the quotes around it? Air like, quotes. you're not confident enough to say you're the draw? Right. Yeah, like, we're maybe. Or is he trying draw. to, like, be like Corey, like, they say we're the draw? Yeah. We're not really a draw. I don't know. It's like a very deep email. Would you take the layers away? Yeah. For them over the last year and can benefit any slash your promotion. I've attached links to a recent match and a recent promo, which they did do. They send those links. The email ends. If we've piqued your interest, let us know and we'll work out details. And you said this is from 2011? 2012. 2012. They have piqued my interest uh, four years later. I respond. hope, still I hope you respond to that email when you get home. They were, in a, they were in a six-man match. The team they faced was the Gods of Destruction and Whoa. Frankie Stars. I mean. But see, Gods of Destruction, the acronym is G-O-D, so that's very deep. Yeah, okay. Yeah, no grammar there. Beard. Beard life. Uh, all right. The, and by the way, not, not the guys that were in TNA. Beard money? Beard money. Beard money? <laughs> beard money. Beard money. Isn't Why that like, isn't like a beard like when like a, 
like a, when like a gay person goes marries, with a straight like person. marries a woman for like looks like yeah, yeah. to appear straight i have no idea is that like another twist to their gimmick that they're also like beards yeah they're actually a gay couple but they have like girlfriends their monikers are the human highlight and the human hangover oh sounds just like a disney film <laughs> the the yeah. human highlight johnny malloy and the human hangover head rush his name is head rush head rush Oh, so I thought it would be like a guy from Aladdin or uh, Beauty and the Beast or something. Yeah, well, you know, when we're down at uh, when we're down in Florida for WrestleCon coming up, I'm gonna hit some of those theme parks and I'm gonna see if these guys got an exhibit down there. <laughs> You're looking for the beard life uh, ne- next to uh, next to the Dumbo ride and uh, Snow White. You got the beard life roller coaster. I'm looking for the beard life stand in Epcot. <laughs> yeah, March 29th. When you're walking around the countries, there's just a head rush uh, exhibit. Yeah, make sure you visit uh, the AIW stand if you're going to WrestleCon, by the way. Lots of fucking plugs on this one. We're getting real pluggy. Sorry. Yeah. Well, I mean, can't can't miss up on the AIW stand with Steve Grado Guy. and Sun Steve Jay Guy, Clay. how did you get your new car? Did you get it from the True Car <laughs> app? That's not a fucking sponsor. Oh, sorry. My bad. Well, I can't wait to hear the next email that you have, Chandler Biggins, because well, it's next... probably about cars, but let me tell you about I got two. I got two left here. Okay. And they're both one. Cleveland wrestling legends uh, related. Oh, great. There's a guy, and he writes, I used to wrestle myself, but I injured my left lower back a little after the age of 35. So now I am a manager. Is this my- the Duke? <sighs> now I am the magnificent Thor Riley. And I have an alliance of wrestlers named the Theater of Pain. Oh, shit. Which is sacrilegious in these parts because if you're not from Cleveland, there's two guys that have been around for 25 years running their own shows, and they are currently the only undefeated tag team in all of professional wrestling. The reason being they've run their own shows for 25 years. Before you continue, I just thought of something. Do you remember that one time that one guy tried to get booked, and I saw him on my lunch break, and he was in downtown Cleveland, and he was panhandling for people to give him chair shots? Yes, the cowboy from (laughs) hell, Dave Donovan. Yeah, I couldn't remember his name. Thorne gets this email from this guy (laughs) named Cowboy Dave Donovan. Or Cowboy from Hell, Dave Donovan, and he was his claim to fame was he was in the one uh, King of the Death match for IWA Mid South, and CM Punk like ripped on him before he was like you know the CM Punk of WWE. Uh, so <laughs> Thorne keeps getting these emails from this guy, and he goes, "I want to be booked on your shows, but I will never attend your shows as a fan because I have a uh, what do you say like he had like he's uh, got the Dennis Stamp rule. He's not booked. No, 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 no." He said he had some kind of phobia of large crowds. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. And he said he would have a nervous breakdown if he was ever in a major crowd, but he also tried to get booked on the shows. So tell your story about how he was downtown. So I work downtown. I do have a real life career in the uh, corporate world. And uh, I was was on my lunch break, and I was walking by this area in Cleveland called Public Square. It's like... You know, uh, like the epicenter of downtown Cleveland. And like, if you watched any of the coverage of the Republican National Convention, ninety percent of it was filmed at Public Square. That's like the the center of Cleveland. What a reference there! Yeah. All right. So anyway, I'm on my lunch break and I walk by, and here is the cowboy from hell, Dave Donovan, surrounded by a large crowd of people because it is downtown on a weekday at lunchtime. All people in business like outfits. Of course. This guy's down there with his cut off shirt on and he's got a steel chair. And he was panhandling for people to give him an unprotected chair shot while they're walking by in their lunch break. Five bucks, hit him with a chair. And then he was teaching people how to tie up because that's the pictures I saw was there was like middle aged women getting tied, like being taught how to tie up in a professional wrestling I mean, New York City might have the naked cowboy playing music. We got the cowboy from hell. Cowboy from hell getting uh, chair shots unprotected. What? He has a phobia of large crowd, so he can never attend a show. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. So I just thought of that little tidbit there. Go on. That's with a, your th- that was a bonus. That was an Easter egg. Well, I think he's very familiar with the Theater of Pain, the Cleveland version. Now, the Theater of Pain, very legendary in Cleveland. If you Google search... Uh, theater of pain, you will not like what you see. 
you will definitely like what you see. Well, you like what you see, but it's very bad. <laughs> Speak for yourself. Oh, when they when they're riding in the convertible with the bagpipe player. I go, wow. That's how I gotta Google this. It's just like this, Cleveland. We've been whipping people's ass for years and years and years, and the buck don't stop here. We're at the big Kmart, was 65th, and somebody's gonna take it and take it hard. Tell them how it is, Big Mike. Well, the list continues to grow. We beat the Bushwhackers, we beat the Iron Sheik, and we beat who haven't we beat. So next on the list is Jabronis. That's all that's left is Jabronis. It's just like this, Cleveland. You don't want to come and talk no shit to the guys that are undefeated because you get famous and you get put on the list. We brought the war paint back. We got the big man here. This is how we're doing it at Big Kmart, undefeated, and we're going to keep it rolling. Tell them, Big Mike. Not only do we have the war paint we're wearing, we're here to kick some ass, chew bubble gum, and take down names. Well, our list is full, and we're all out of bubble gum, so anything left is to beat people's ass with my little baby brother putting the war makeup on his brother you don't know what haunted house or what ring you're gonna see us in <laughs> all, you, all you guys out there watching this and you know who you are i don't need to put your names on you don't need the publicity we're doing it and we're bleeding three times in one day and then we got shows tomorrow too get on the ball sack because that's what we tell you to do this is uh this last one that I have is from Evanosaurus Rex is his email handle. Weird body EA. Yeah. Is this weird body? Uh, I don't know, but if it is, weird body is going to have some heat with his tag team partner uh, worldwide because this is all about Evanosaurus wanting to join the creative team. Oh, no. Story writing slash booking inquiry. Dear AIW, Hello. I'm trying to break into this industry as a writer slash booker for a wrestling federation. With AIW's impressive roster and intense shows, I believe that this could be a great spot to bring in my skills. Now, as I said, I'm trying to break into this industry, so I have no experience. But I do know how to write stories and book shows and format the before-mentioned items. As any person just coming to this industry, it of course has to be passion over payment. That is why I am offering my services completely and utterly low, parentheses, which will be decided at the time if you accept this request. He just said passion over payment. I thought that where he was going with this is that it was going to be for free since he has zero experience. But he he wants to be paid by you guys. Oh, that's not happening. Despite low, low payment. Now, a common question within my offering of services is, why should I hire you? And it's simple. I write interesting stories, parentheses, which I can send examples of at your discretion, that would bring in crowds without copying old stories of old companies. I hope the best with your business either way, and I hope to have as many questions and comments for me. Thanks again. Now, how would he know they would draw the people in if he's never had any job in wrestling? I, you know, he's very confident, young man. I, I, well, I don't. Sometimes know you just young. know you got the it factor. Yeah. Sometimes you know you're just you're you're a draw in quotations. When your name is Evanosaurus Rex, obviously you know what you're doing. Nobody ever care about a dinosaur wrestling. Yeah, I mean, I don't know, man. He's uh, he wants to get paid. Yeah, that's not happening. I, I'm sorry, Evanosaurus. You did write back. We aren't hiring anybody, but thanks for the email. Very polite. Yeah. <laughs> for <good>. once. <laughs> So occasionally, occasionally, I have some uh, strong words, and Thorne has to tell me to rein it in a little he bit. Was, he was polite, too. He still hopes for the best either way. So. Well, I got the grand finale here. Uh, everybody knows me as Chandler Biggins, but that's just my wrestling name. My real name is Chris Bryan. Oh, oh, oh shit. Oh, he's dropping it. Dropping. Yeah. Dr- dropping bombshells on this Well, episode. I got to Hot because takes. this email was sent to Chandler Biggins bad-mouthing Chris. Now people oh. are now people are really gonna find out where that fucking werewolf invasion happened at. They yeah. know your name and they know about the knife. Well, they can't find it. It's on YouTube though. Well, this is from a wrestling legend of Cleveland, Ohio, and I use legend in quotations. This is a man that's been in the business twenty nine years in wrestling in Cleveland, and yet nobody's ever heard of him. This is a man that's known as the Spanish Fly. I heard of him, man. He gave me a printed out photograph of him when he was wrestling in the 
parking lot of Kmart when I was 14. Now, Spanish Fly. Right before am, you started booking. Am I not wrong? But isn't that right something? Before, right before I got into the, the biz. <laughs> isn't Spanish Fly the drug that people use for date rape before yeah. GHB? Well, I don't. It's, no, it's I think not, it like gives you like boners. It's supposed to get you horny. You put it in drinks. It's supposed to get. Like when they're not looking? It's, yeah, it's, I don't know. It's supposed to. No, I think some people do look. They knowingly get it. And it's supposed to be like the, make it bones men you up. or women horny. It's bones like, you up. Yeah, it's like Mexican Viagra. Bones you up, dude. Oh, this guy, this guy. But it works for girls, too. This guy has a name from it, the Spanish fly. He goes, and this is to Chandler. I never knew you were the head of AIW, and I'm glad to know now. I thought it was operated by a guy named Chris Bryan. <laughs> an individual I do not care for. Well, I'm sending you this message as an apology to you personally. No reflection of any bit wrestling business. I've had my issues, but I've decided it's time to bury the hatchet and let it go. JT Lightning is gone, and whatever issues I've had with any of my involvements with him are over because he's dead. Well, that's nice to know. Yeah. I've been in wrestling 29 years, and regardless, I'm trying to be the better man about old beefs and to let you know that I have nothing against you and will understand if you don't accept my apology, but I won't be offended, but fuck Chris Bryan. <laughs> <laughs> now, this is said to me. <laughs> yeah, he's really great at squashing beefs. He waits till a guy passes away, and he's like, the beef is gone. I've settled Passed it. Passed away many years ago, JT. Yeah, I, I squashed that beef now that he's passed away. I love that he emailed... Chandler Biggins to tell him fuck Chris Bryan. <laughs> it was a very it was a very weird email because this is, this is email or Facebook. Facebook. Oh, so email still yeah. even great. Yeah. There's but, a there's a Chandler Biggins profile for you know all his all his fans. Right. For all the fans. Then he's got a personal Chris Bryan. No, no, I don't add people on it though. But yeah, yeah I was very I had like an he's, identity he's crisis. Got a, he's got a phobia because this werewolf story is gonna come out one oh, yeah. of Man, days. I hope you're bleeping out his real name here. No, people know what it is. Citizen name. This is it on the Lipson account for this podcast <laughs> somewhere? But yeah, like I had a real identity crisis, like a Fight Club moment, because I'm like, "Fuck Chris, yeah, I'm, with, I'm Chandler, fuck Chris, yeah, that Chris Bryan is a dick, yeah, fuck him, Chandler's all right." But then I was Chris, and I'm like, "Fuck you, Chandler." I started talking to myself. I had an angel on one shoulder, and I had a Spanish fly on the other. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, I think that's gonna wrap it up. Yeah. Well, if, if you if you like this episode, let us know. We'll do more. If you got didn't, about two hundred more emails. If you didn't like this episode, we'll shred them. And I apologize. We won't read the two hundred more emails we got. If you are the Spanish fly, uh, apologies to you. But uh, Chris Bryan is Chandler Biggins. So, what? do you think he just so fell off fuck his bike? You Spanish fly. He just fell off his bicycle here in this. Well, boy. Well, that's gonna do it uh, here for us on this episode of AIW. The card is going to change. Uh, thank you to all of our sponsors. Uh, Jeff the Rebel. Jeff the Rebel. The Oil Tycoon. Shout out to Taylor Hendricks for th- billions and trillions of dollars. Yeah, Taylor, if you want that phone number, just uh, hit us up. We'll get that for you. Uh, but thank you to Smart Mark Video, Angelo's Pizza, uh, Ebb Tide Treatment Center, uh, Jack Prince, and of course, Thrift, Thrift Store, Store Jobber. Jobber. Uh, for Chandler Biggins and John Thorne, my name is Steve Guy. We'll talk to you next week, everybody. Thanks. We really got to think of something better to do with our time. You know.